Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. We're getting close to being finished with the bodice and then we'll set it aside and start working on the body of the bubble in, in, an, in another couple of videos or the next video. Okay, so but in this video, we're gonna be creating French seams along the side of the garment. So with the outsides or the insides together, we're gonna start pinning the sides of the sleeve in the side of the bodice using our silk pins. Just line up the bottom cuff and just keep pinning until you get to the bottom of the front of the bodice. Okay, now we're gonna set our sewing machine back to a straight stitch because in the last video we were zigzagging. Straight stitch, standard stitch length. Now using a 1 8 inch seam allowance, let's see if I can zoom in here. We're gonna use a 1 8 inch seam allowance and we're gonna sew the first of the first part of the front seam along the side of the sleeve. Taking our pins out as we come to them. And when we come to the entredeau, just go right over the entredeau and keep going, keeping your 1 8 inch seam. my threads. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, since this fabric has been handled a little bit since it was originally cut, um, we've got some little fluffy threads hanging up, and I don't want them sticking out of my next French seam. I also need to trim that entredeau back to where it's one-eighth of an inch, and just trim. I'm going to trim the lace and just trim the little fuzzies down here near the bottom of the sleeve. Okay, now I can use my miniature ironing board and iron this seam to one side, but that'll take me a minute. Okay, I've got that pressed, and now I'm on the inside of the garment making the second pass of the French seam, which will be about a scant one quarter of an inch. Just tack it good up at the bottom of the sleeve at the cuff. Come over the entredeau. And come down to the bottom of the bodice. Now I need to repeat that process for the other sleeve, so that'll take me a minute. Okay, so I've got that French seam done. Um, it lines up at the bottom of the cuff, and fortunately my entredeau ladders even line up at the shoulder seams. So I need to go to the ironing board. 
um, and using uh, my miniature ironing board, I need to press these side seams towards the back of the bodice. And then it'll be time to attach some entredeau to the bottom of the bodice. Okay, so I've got those seams pressed towards the back of the garment. Now starting at one end, I mean, it doesn't matter which end you start at, um, overlap your entredeau by about a half an inch along at the back opening of the bodice and start to pin your entredeau to the bodice. Just pinning it along as you go, all along the bottom of the bodice. And then using the technique, of attaching entredeau to ungathered fabric, we're going to sew this entredeau to the bottom of the bodice. But this will take me a minute to get this all pinned. Okay, so I've got this entredeau pinned all along the bottom of the bodice of the garment. Now using a straight stitch, I'm still set at straight stitch since I was just doing a French seam. I'm going to slowly and carefully just sew my entredeau to the bottom of the bodice, taking my pins out as I come to them. Okay, this will take me a minute to sew. So I have sewn my entredeau to the bottom of the bodice all the way along the bottom and I have overlapped about a half an inch at both of the little back openings, okay? Now I need to go to the ironing board and press that seam to the inside of the bodice. And as I'm checking my ribbons, oh joy, look at that. You know, they're just about starting at exactly the same place on both of my ribbon beadings. So let me go to the ironing board and press and I'll be back to zigzag. Okay, so I've been to the ironing board and I've pressed that seam to the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zigzag along the entredeau ladder, catching the entredeau on the right and catching the fold of the seam on the left. So let me set my machine back to a zigzag. And starting at one end, what is, whatever is your favorite end. I like to have, sometimes I want my entredeau on the left. And when I'm doing this, I want to have the entredeau on the right. So just, you know, develop your own little habits. There's no real right or wrong. Okay, so this will take me a few minutes to get this all zigzagged. Okay, look at how lovely this is looking. Now I've got one final step before we're going to put this bodice back on the hanger and set it aside while we work on the body. I need to go to the inside and once again, guess what I'm gonna be using? My specialty scissors and I'm gonna trim away the excess entredeau and batiste from the inside of the garment. And as I've said before, you know, these, these are the perfect tool for doing this type of trimming. And once again, I will provide a link to them down in the video description, but this will take me a minute to cut all of this. Okay, it is done for the time being. Ready to hang this on a hanger and put it aside. I'm particularly pleased that my swirls started at a whole swirl up here at the top. And also that my two beadings, they're not exactly perfect, but they're really, really close. So the, the beading line is kind of symmetrical going up the front, okay? But um, sewing the front seams today and sewing the, the entredeau onto the bottom of the bodice was what we were accomplishing today. So thank you.